Hey everybody, I just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel and for clicking on this video. It's my first video on my channel and I want to make it the first of many. So I'm trying to plan at least two to three reviews a week with uh, the first review going to be Clown House. So again, thank you for uh, clicking in and let's get to the review. Clown House was released in 1989 and was directed by Victor Salva. It stars Nathan Forrest Winters, Brian McHugh, and Sam Rockwell and is about three brothers who are stalked and attacked by three clowns in their home. The movie itself is okay. It's definitely a B-rated horror movie. I mean, it's nowhere near some of the horror movies of the 80s, like Poltergeist or Friday the 13th or even A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's definitely not the best movie. Uh, but there are a few positives with it, with the first being Sam Rockwell. His character is probably the best character in the whole movie. He does a great job and... It was his first ever acting role, which is really surprising because he looked like he knew what he was doing in most of the shots. The writing for his character isn't that great, but we're going to go over that in the negatives. Another positive of the movie is the film score. It was composed by Thomas Richardson and Michael Becker, and it does a great job of setting the atmosphere of the movie. They have a little theme that plays every time the uh, clowns are talked about or if they're nearby. A little melody will play, and it just does a great job of setting the scene and, and really adding to the tone of what was needed. And it was really surprising, because usually I don't suspect like a really great like score with B-rated horror movies, you know, I'm looking for cheesy kills, uh, cheesy dialogue, which there is that, but the film score just really added to the movie. But now, let's talk about some negatives. The first negative of the movie is definitely the writing. There is some of the worst dialogue I have ever heard, and it honestly compares to Troll Tale with some of the things that's said. I mean, one of my favorite quotes of this movie is, if you walk in on me like that again, I'll step on your face. You ever walk in on me like that again, I'll step on your face. Sorry. And another one is about soft hands, which we're just going to insert the clip for that one because I can't do it justice. Soft hand. It is good to be soft, but dangerous too. You know what I say? Let's talk about those hands for a second, though. The main character, Casey, has this whole plot around him, based around his hands, and it adds nothing to the movie. It's brought up so much and just doesn't add anything. I mean, there will just be random scenes where nothing's happening, and he'll just be like... It's... <laughs> it's honestly so useless, this plot, and doesn't add anything to the movie. And they try to, like, do something with it at the end, but... It doesn't add anything at all. Another negative of the movie is the death scenes. There's only one really good death scene within this movie, which I won't spoil it because I'm trying not to do spoiler reviews, but the other death scenes of this movie are so terrible and they're shown off screen. And for a cheesy like slasher movie, I want them to be on screen and I want them to go full out like head decapitation, but you see it and it's like terrible prosthetics and all that. I, I want to see that. I don't want to see off-screen kills where you don't really see anything. It, it just didn't add anything to the movie. It didn't make it creepier. It didn't make it funnier. It just made it like... I don't know. It just made it not as good. The worst death scene of the movie is definitely the first one. Which I won't go into spoilers, but I'm just going to show a clip to show you how it starts. Georgie. 
overall, I would give this movie a 5 out of 10. And I would definitely recommend it. But I think it would be better in a setting with like a bunch of friends. I didn't really enjoy that much about it, watching it alone. I mean, there was a few dialogue that I would uh, laugh to myself. But this definitely isn't a movie to watch by yourself. This definitely is to watch with friends. So thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to be releasing more content soon. But let's flash forward to our next review.